Hello, my name is Dan Mountcastle. I've come to talk about vein disease. I'm called a phlebologist or a vein doctor. Um, I'm talking about the signs, uh, the symptoms, and the treatments of vein disease, whether it be varicose veins or spider veins, uh, or the skin changes of venous insufficiency. The title of this lecture is Varicose Veins, Signs, Symptoms, Diagnosis, and Treatment by Daniel J. Mountcastle, MD, member of the American College of Phlebology and director of Mountcastle Vein Centers in the Isla del Sol and Largo, Florida. Varicose veins are a very common problem. And unlike many medical problems, it is not very complex. It's not a complex issue of complicated biochemistry. Valves and veins fail. They no longer can keep the blood going in one direction only. They can no longer support the column of blood when you're standing. Thus varicose veins, reticular veins, and even little spider veins. In addition, the capillaries distally have too much pressure and too much blood flow. They gradually leak um, blood cells and thus the hyperpigmentation of chronic venous insufficiency and the skin changes because of uh, oxygenation of the skin and thus uh, varicose and thus vein ulcers uh, and, and other skin changes. I've started this presentation with a photo of a patient of ours came to our clinic in May of 2006. Terrible varicose veins along the inside of his leg and a great deal of pain on standing and walking any period of time. Uh, he was quite uncomfortable. He wasn't so concerned about the cosmetics. We did a procedure in May that involved starting an IV on the inside of his lower leg just above the knee threading a laser catheter up the saphenous vein which lies about an inch below the surface. Gradually withdrawing while firing this laser fiber took about two minutes and we put a band-aid over the puncture wound just as you would after starting an IV and removing it. We asked uh, this young man to come back in six months and I would do a um, office uh, surgical procedure where residual varicose veins are removed. He came back in six months. There was nothing to do. And he said beyond that his legs felt wonderful. He no longer had that terrible aching pain uh, after long airplane trips or three-hour car trips or just standing at a function. The treatment of vein insufficiency has come a, a long way for many, many years, the only way to actually treat venous insufficiency was to do a vein stripping operation. This involved uh, hospitalization and a general anesthesia and three weeks of great discomfort uh, and disability. Nowadays, a 45 minute procedure uh, ended with a band-aid and a 15 minute walk. Uh, the patient can go home uh, go back to work that day or the next day uh, with no disability. With the vein stripping operations, the patients suffered recurrence 40 or 50 percent of the time. And much of our work in our clinic is taking care of people that have had vein stripping operations 5, 10, even as many as uh, 50 years ago. We show a picture of this patient uh, larger of his uh, before and after. It's really quite dramatic. And again, it was one needle puncture just above the knee on the inside of the thigh. Uh, laser fiber threaded up his thigh. I gradually withdrew that fiber while firing it over a period of about two minutes. Put a band-aid at the puncture site, put a stocking on his leg, and sent him home. We have a slide here of, uh, uh, of a tablet found outside the Acropolis from the fourth century of varicose veins. 10 to 20 percent of adults have varicosities. Seems to be twice as common in females, although half of our patients are men. We've included the picture, uh, a picture of an iceberg. The concept here is that varicose veins are just the tip of the iceberg. Everyone knows that these patients should be sent to a, a phlebologist uh, for treatment. 
However, the body of the iceberg, 90% of the iceberg of Venice insufficiency, is stasis dermatitis. Uh, the changes that include vein ulcers, vein ulcers, lipodermatosclerosis, hyperpigmentation, and swelling. These cases have the same workup, a Doppler ultrasound of the leg to see where veins have, vein valves have failed, um, and the same treatment, closure of the saphenous veins that are incompetent. There are perhaps 20 million uh, sufferers of varicose veins in the United States. Uh, there are millions of people getting Lasix when there's no problem with their kidney or their liver or their heart. There's swelling of the legs uh, due to venous insufficiency. Uh, there are millions of people going to dermatologists for ulcers and skin changes. While more definitive treatment is needed.